The Suicide Lead has been really defined since the start of this game as it created, but nowhere has it been as close as when Sticky Webs was introduced and the mods that was following were, well, bug types were able to really, really destroy an opposing Pokemon's kind of team. Acel, which is a Pokemon that has been around since Generation 4, has defined what Susa League can do with an offensive team, but Boots, Spidoops, and Ariados are able to fill this type of role and are quite interesting as a concept. That said, Ariados and Spidoops are much, much more than just Suicide Leads, and while they do define that role, it's not hard to go into their in-depth mood pool to find out what more they can do, so it's up to me to go over their overarching theme and mood pool to find out which one of these two that really are better. We're gonna start with one introduced first, which is Ariados. Now, Ariados is a weird mob because it didn't get well defined till Generation 6 when it got Sticker Web. Before that, it had, you know, it was a more of a fun mod to use because its base total is very unimpressive and it leaves a lot to desire. While it does have the bug poison type, which nowadays is a good defensive type in, both with fighting and fighting and grass resistance and resist bug fairy and poison yet there are a lot of opportunities where this work but you also are weak to the things that bugs are weak to which is fire flying rock and poison do allow you to be weak to psychic bug do alleviate one thing though and that is that you're no longer weak to ground moves which is a phenomenal option for ariados and it does leave you with some defensive niches it also has a pretty fair defensive combination hp it at 70 defense special defense at 72 so it's not like overly bulky, but it definitely can fill that role. And of course, it has a 90 attack, which is respectable to say the least. While it doesn't knock anything out of the park, it will sting if it hurts. Combine it with a special attack that is 60, yeah, you're not gonna use that. Combine that with probably its worst stat in speed of 40. Ooh, yeah, unless you have priority, it's a hard mod to sell offensively. Luckily though, Ariado's got a few tricks up its sleeve. While, of course, the Suicide Lead has the option with Sticky Web, which is, by the way, phenomenal, and combine that with also Toxic Spikes, it will alleviate um, Ariados to do some defensive roles. Now, combine that with defensive responses. Um, if you want to go for a more defensive role, you can run Toxic or Toxic Threads. Toxic Threads is a good um, synergy move for it. It does lower the speed by one, and you get Poison. But Toxic is always the one you kind of want to run. You'd also run a Protect Disable, which is really, really nasty. And it got Nightshade in case you don't want to capitalize on its high attack. Nightshade does guarantee that type of damage combined with Toxic, and it can be rather passively annoying. And of course, it got knockoffs, so a lot of utilities, and even infestation. So yeah, you got options to be defensive, and yeah, could be run like that. But you can also be run that as this guy learns both agility and sword stats combined with scope lens and sniper and you got a really nasty mon on your hand now the issue here is that yeah you don't want to run both agility and sword stats it doesn't have that much defense to pull that off at least not in the long run but you can go for a sword stance and utilize yourself with sucker punch and mega horn and really do a lot of damage you decide to you also got shadow sneak for priority and maybe what's really is most important about this guy, you have Mega Horn, a very, very nasty big hit on your hand. And if you want to run a Soul Vest, I've seen people trying that out. Now, I don't agree with it, but I can see it work with moves such as Leech Life and Gear Drain. There are opportunities where this could very well work and could bring a surprise kill. Combine that with Sucker Punch and some Psychics will actually struggle versus this. Unfortunately, there are far and few in between, but at least Ariados can pull that role. So, like I said, a lot of options. You can go Suicide Lead, you can have it defensively, and you can have it as an offensive mon. While Suicide Lead is the strongest set, it does have utility to do much more. So what does Speed Oops bring to the table? Well, straight off the bat, there are both good things and bad things versus Ariados with Speed Oops. Speed Oops has not the same offensive utilities at all when it comes to offensive stats. 79 in its attack and 52 in its special attack. Yeah, it... It will do both worse than Ariados. Combine it with a speed tier that is lower, Ariados will always be the faster between these two most of the time. And it has a lower HP. What it do excel in though is that it has a better overall defensive stat. 92 in defense and 86 in special defense makes this Pokemon actually somewhat more bulky. And what does that mean for it? Well, it also has a soul bug type, 
which has its benefits and its bad things. It does resist fighting grass and ground, which is good overall, but the weaknesses are fire, fly and rock, which is quite common also, but less weaknesses, but also less resistances than Ariado. So I do say it's a tie between these two, but at the same time, I could see one referring to one over another, depending on the matchup. Speedups has less um, defensive matchups to excel, in contrast also has a lot of def less defensive or offensive things to be worried about. When it comes to its abilities, it has Insomnia, which is something you don't want to use, and Stakeout. Now, Stakeout is a really interesting ability, because very few good Pokemon has this ability. Speedups actually stands out because it has the opportunity of utilizing this kind of well. Not only because it is on the slower side, but also, if the offensive Mon is switching out, you will do double the damage. And this is a thing, like, how could Speedups fret its offensive Pokemon? And well... I'll just get into that. Because while we do have the sticker web and we have spikes, we have toxic spikes, yeah, it, it got all, all the things you could possibly need. It also has first impression. First impression is an absolute terror of a move, as it is a 90 base power, so weaker, of course, than Mega Horn, but always goes first. And if you can fret Pokemon that is in front of you and force them to switch out, this move will be even stronger. Combine that with moves such as Circle Throw, which force a switch anyway, and you can actually, with the Spike shenanigans, really pack a pretty decent punch with this Pokemon, surprisingly so. And while it doesn't have any proper setup moves, which by default is unfortunate, it does have actually U-Turn, which does alleviate it to have some possibility of switching around and get momentum out of that, like I said, if you actually are forcing out your opposing Pokemon, that U-turn will be even stronger. Which is just phenomenal. It also has a signature move in Silk Trap, which works like a Protect, but if it is a contact move, it will get minus the speed, which all of a sudden makes it even worse for the opposing Pokemon, and that could be quite interesting with it. Now when it comes to utility moves and what Speedoops can do outside of its suicide lead, well, like I stated, it got a few offensive moves that makes it stand out. Circle Throw was one of them. It gets knockoff exactly like Ariados. It gets Rock Tomb. And um, it even gets Counter. If you want to use something like Assault Vest, it can actually be able to capitalize and do some really nasty damage. Or the Focus Sash set with it. All always nice to just bait damage. Combine that with Gas Rasset, which takes away the Pokemon's ability. It would make Gliscor much less of a threat if its poison actually decided to kill it. Combine that also with Memento, which means that not only do you have U-Turn to get out of a nasty situation, but you also have the Lies of Memento to be able to really get out of a nasty situation and lower the opposing Pokémon of two stages, which makes setup opportunities for a teammate a lot easier. A lot easier, really. So what this matchup, in my opinion, boils down to is... Do I prefer them being able to do more stuff? Because if so, then Ariados is a superior choice, being both good defensively, can set up, and can be a suicide lead. But it doesn't necessarily excel in any of them, but it are able to pull that off. While Speedoops can't really do a lot of things, but it is definitely designed as a suicide lead. And as a suicide lead, it is not half bad with both First Impression and Sucker Punch and U-Turn and Stakeout. There are a lot of opportunities where speed dupes really can work out really well. So speed dupes for me is not only a superior suicide lead, but it comes down to if I'm using it in battle, would I prefer my opponent knowing exactly what I'm going to use my mon for, or have the option to do three other things and pressure my opponent by the surprise factor? And I think the choice are kind of hard because. Most of the time, I would prefer Speedoops because at least it does excel in what it does, but Ariados just having the option of not doing what I think it would do is a great option. But yeah, I'm sorry guys for all the Ariados fans here. I went in here knowing I would say we're gonna win, but I have been sitting here for basically 40 minutes and I, I can't make myself do it. Speedoops with all the options are a superior choice overall, it just has a lot more opportunities to do really good work and threaten the other Pokemon out. Ariados has a lot of options, but it just can't excel in any of them, while Speedoops excel at one, and while it isn't the best role, it is a phenomenal option to pull that off. 
So with that said, which Pokemon do you prefer, and of course why? Like I said, I get both camps here. I just I can't make myself um, pre <laughs> make Ariadas win here. Uh, with that said, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. And next week we will see this matchup.